And so now, you know, you've got that thing to gauge against. And this does, you know, many, many things for you. It keeps your tasks from expanding to take more time than they should. It, it forces you to renegotiate. You know, if all of a sudden we want to take a trip next week to go to a conference, well, we've got to look at that time budget and go, okay, well, what are we going to give up? And, uh, and so, you know, going back to the buying a house example, if you're putting 500 bucks a month away, but now all of a sudden you really, really want that big screen TV, well, it's going to force you to negotiate and go to your budget and go, okay, if we want this that bad, what are we going to give up? Or are we going to not do the 500 bucks or whatever that, you know, so it forces you to renegotiate. Well, and the cool thing about this is too, when you're looking at it, you can make decisions so clearly. It's not based on your emotions in the moment, you know, and when I said that uh, at the beginning of this little part, when I looked at this thing and was just like, we're both quiet, just looking at it going, wow. Yeah. It was because now there is no doubt in my mind we can achieve all these goals because we have every single thing in place. Yeah. We clearly know the path. We know exactly what needs to happen. And then when you're dealing on a daily level, you can see here's exactly what has to happen. Four hour block needs to be put here to do this. And if we do that every single day, this can happen. And if we don't, instead, if we're like, uh, yeah, today I'm not feeling it. I'm going to go do something else because you just don't know, then obviously you can't achieve those things. I don't know. It was very, very exciting, this final little leg of it all, because all the other stuff was in place. It's like just taking everything to that next level. Absolutely. And, you know, and, and it's one of those things that now that I'm doing it, I'm like, man, I wish I'd done this a long time ago. And, you know, everything's done in moderation. And of course, it, you know, you have to form some very good habits to stick to something like this. But this is the kind of thing we highly and strongly encourage people to work towards because, I, you know, I mean, if, if you're wanting to lose that 30 pounds and it's just not coming off, you've got to have some charts to go look back and look and go, okay, why is this not working? It's like, oh, well, I guess I'm not actually working, you know, doing as much exercise as I knew I needed to, or man, I'm eating 60% carbs when I knew it needed to be 45 or whatever, you know, you got to have something to look so you know why, otherwise you're just guessing. Um, you know, it's like, well, if we're not making the money in our business that we want now, well, why is that not happening? Well, now we can look at the spreadsheet and go, wow, I'm only spending 5% of my time on marketing. I guess that could have something to do with it, you know, and because it's very easy to lose track and maybe even delude yourself a little bit about what's going on in actuality. So track Hacking is the key to life. <laughs> I think I yeah, sk exactly. Skyped that to you earlier this week. I'm like, man, I'm realizing in everything, tracking is the key to life. And, uh, you know, maybe this sounds very type A, but it's, you know, it every, I mean, I, I think, the, and here's the problem, and this, this just barely came to me. I mean, you mentioned how you had this um, conflicting definite major purposes. And I think sometimes when I thought about planning my blocks out ahead of time or, you know, maybe that requiring me to want to get up at a very specific time every day. I think that was conflicting with a part of me who was like, no, my ma definite major purpose is just to be free as a bird and just feel like I can do whatever yeah. I want. If I want to go go to bed even later, I can. If I want to do it's anything. Like, no, you know what? Right now, I just really want to read this article on this blog that looks like it's going to change my life, you know? <laughs> but it's like, you know, whatever, just your whims. And, and certainly more freedom is what we're going for. But, you know, we've got to keep that in check because if I'm just trying to be as free as a bird right now and not have to worry about, oh, planning my time, well, then, you know, what do I want more? Do I want to achieve that lifestyle back in New York? Do I want that? Or do I just want to be able to get up whenever I want and spend my time however I want and just stay where we're at? So you've got to decide. You've got to renegotiate those uh, purposes with yourself and, and make those decisions. Anyway, I guess that's a, <laughs> a lot right there uh, that, that we <laughs> yeah, talked about. Yeah, we went on and on on this on one. On and on. <laughs> As you can tell, we, we don't feel strongly about this at all. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so quick uh, review here of the six specific steps for uh, making 2009 the best year ever. Number one, review and refine your definite major purpose and your fulfillment factors. And uh, if you want some examples of that, go to internetbusinessmasteryacademy.com and, and the page information page is listed right on there. And, and uh, the information page are uh, our DMPs and fulfillment factors. Number two, review and refine your organization chart. Number three, set some specific income goals. Number four, backwards plan so that you can reach those goals. Number five, evaluate the products or the projects or the vehicles that you have at your disposal and pick the one, maybe two that are going to get you there the best. And number six, 
create a time budget or a log so that you can track because reaching that definite major purpose, reaching the, those goals, it's all about daily action. It's all about then how do you spend the time and what are the activities that you do and are they matching up? And if you don't track that, then it's you will not be able to know. You will not be able to make that progress. So come up with some kind of system and uh, we're definitely going to put together uh, for, the, for the Academy members, you know, a video and, and some examples r- r- related to this time budget, this customer time budget thing idea that we came up with uh, so you can be watching for that in the Rolodex sometime in the near future. So there you go. We definitely uh, want you to have the best year ever in 2009 when it comes to your life plan, your business plan, uh, and everything that you want. And we definitely want to hear all about it as you move forward and uh, towards reaching those goals. All right. Now we want to know what you think. What is your most fulfilling goal for 2009? Please go back to the blog and let us know in the comments section. All right, as usual, we've got a couple of announcements, and the first one is we are working on launching the biggest development for Internet Business Mastery since the launch of the Academy. And the best part about this is it's going to be totally free. Sweet! That that favorite word, free. (laughs) But... We really, really need your help in part of this. And what it's going to be is <laughs> it's going to be an actual video show. It's looking like it's going to be a weekly video show. And we're trying to figure out what to name this thing. And we got a lot of ideas, but we want your input on what to name this show. So if you'd like to help us name the video show, please go to internetbusinessmastery.com forward slash video show. And there'll be a little survey there to, uh, you know, go ahead and we'll have some names there that we are interested in. And then we'll even have a place that, uh, you know, if you've got a name that you think's better, that you can send that in. And uh, that's going to be coming actually really soon. We're, we're going to be flying to Salt Lake. The studio's in Salt Lake. So <laughs> we're going to be flying there every month to shoot this thing. And we're going actually in a few weeks to do all the beforehand production and and we got to have a show name so if you could help us do that that would be awesome yeah we're putting some real time and uh, investment into this thing so we'll we'll see where it goes but uh, clearly there's some opportunity there and besides sterling's been itching to get back on tv ever since he you know did that episode of whatever show was you're on (laughs) (laughs) although you know the one thing that this has helped us both on as well is going okay i think it's time to lose that internet business weight (laughs) (laughs) I don't want to look like a complete bus on on the show. Uh, So, yeah, like on Twitter, I've been talking about the whole, you know, I want to lose 30 pounds by the end of February. So we'll see how that's, it's going pretty good so far. But uh, but anyway, yeah, lots of stuff coming up with that video show. Maybe I'll even cut my hair. We'll see. Crazy. (laughs) All right. And then uh, just wanted to, we had a cool, uh, in the sense of comments here, you uh, posted that blog post about goal setting as a waste of time and you know, lot, lots of great response to that. And then there was one uh, cool one that came in from Lindsay B, uh, who's actually an Academy member as well. And she wrote, uh, here's a, a fragment of what she wrote. She said, honestly, the writing I've done to get to that point and beyond hasn't really been in line with what I'm realizing my definite major purpose is. I guess should, I should say I wanted to explain Lindsay. She makes her money and she makes a good income from writing on several different blogs and has lots of affiliate income and stuff coming in uh, from that. So she's doing well for herself. Um, but she's saying, you know, honestly, the writing I've done to get to this point and beyond hasn't really been in line with what I'm realizing that my definite major purpose is. So what is my DMP now? She said, over the next couple of years, I want to transition from making money from running advertising and affiliate programs on my site, in other words, enriching corporations and fueling a consumer-drenched society, and devote my time to teaching and doing work that matters. 